All right, what's good, YouTube? Look, continuation of my last video. Appreciate the love. Appreciate you guys tuning in, checking in with me. Ah, last video, I talked to you guys about the gun range at the police academy. It's mandatory. This video, I want to talk to you guys about the driving course aspect of it. Mandatory. But before I get into all that, I want to break down and talk to you guys real quick and show you guys a couple things about the three mandatory tests that you got to take inside the classroom to graduate from the academy. I told you there was three tests. The first one was 2C. That's the criminal charges of New Jersey. Now, disclaimer, if you live in California, if you live in a different state, obviously certain laws, certain things are going to be different for you. Second thing, or second test, excuse me. I'm doing this Red Bull. This shit got me, shit got me kind of lit right now. I'm not even going to bullshit. <laughs> second thing. Um... Damn, Title 39, I almost forgot. Title 39, that's all motor vehicles, traffic violations, everything that has to do with a car. Study it, know it. And the third test was use of force. Self-explanatory, I don't even gotta explain it. Um, you know, I spoke about me not being a good test taker and studying and things like that, whatever, whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys because it's been a while since I was in law enforcement. This was five years ago since I was in the academy, but I still kept a lot of shit. And you know what Jada Kiss said. Wanna hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Right? So I'm gonna show you guys my books. Right here, I got my, I think it was a two and a half, three inch binder, which we have to buy. I'll show you right here. See? It's Atlantic City Police Department, Rivera Nicholas. Right there, you're gonna get this name tag at the academy on your first day. Every morning when you sit on your desk, you put that name tag right in front of your desk because that's how they're gonna know who you who you are. Make sure you have that, make sure you don't lose that shit. Need that. Right? So as you can see, this shit thick. This shit really thick. A whole lot of papers in here, man. It was a lot of boring ass lectures. Let me talk to you guys about the lectures real quick. Get used to sitting, I'm, just, I'm a little far, but hands on your knees, up, face straight, for four or five hours straight. No bullshit. I'm telling you guys, you listen to my PT video, I told you guys, PT was like 6.45 to maybe 8 o'clock. Had to be in the academy, in the classroom by 8, like 8.45, 9 o'clock or something like that. Man, from 9 to 3 or, or from 9 to 12, you're going to have a homicide detective giving you a lecture about the law of homicide and stories and cases that he was on and just boring. And you're going to be sitting there taking notes, taking notes, taking notes. When you're not taking notes, you're sitting there. Just like this. Just like this. It's boring as fuck. I'm telling you guys right now, and it doesn't even matter if you in Camden, classwork is fucking boring. Boring. You're going to go to lunch after that first lesson. Make sure you pay attention, though. Make sure you do write lessons. Make sure in the beginning of the class where you do got a little bit of energy, as soon as the instructor or as soon as the, the prosecutor or whatever, whoever's in there giving the lesson for that day, as soon as they say something, just write a little note. Just write a little note because at lunchtime, we had an instructor who would walk up and down our table. Point. You, you in the middle of a bite of the sandwich. Yo. What you learned today? Give me two things that you learned today. And you got to think. And if you, fuck, if you don't have nothing to say, he's going to be like, okay, he's going to remember that. So always make sure that you you write something down, that you are at least paying attention. But it's going to be boring. It's going to be hard. After lunch, it's going to be another lesson. From 1 o'clock till 4, 5 o'clock, you're going to be sitting there. You're going to be listening to um, a prosecutor. Talk to you about the prosecution cases and laws and attorney general guidelines and blah, 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 blah a bunch of fucking bullshit. And while you do get good information, because instructors would tell you this, because I, I was there, we would get a, we would get a lecture by from a prosecutor, from somebody that works inside the offices or the courts and or whatever, and they would give us their side of the job. They would talk about their side. And mind you, you're not 
in the academy to become a prosecutor. You're, you're trying to become a police officer. So the views, the perspectives that a prosecutor has in comparison to a police officer, they're not always going to be the same. You know, you don't see the same shit. So we would have a lecture from a prosecutor. The prosecutor would leave and the hour instructor would come in and be like, that's a good lesson. Now I'm going to give you a lesson, the same lesson in police life or like in police terms. And then he would say the same type of shit, but he would tell you like, yeah, it's not always going to work like that because that's, they live, but it's, it's different. It's different. That life is different. But back to the whole, it's boring, bro. It's boring, boring, boring. You're sitting there, boring. Get used to it. If you fall asleep, because there were a bunch of us, remember? There was a bunch of people, they sitting there like, they looking ugly as hell, eyes rolling hard. Bro, like, because you got right after PT, you want us to sit here and we got to listen to some, like, let's talk to some bullshit. You, try, you, you tired as hell. Don't let an instructor see you. Because they'll get mad. They'll fuck us up. They'll, they'll get you in trouble. If you feel yourself getting tired, get your ass up. Go stand in the back of the classroom. They would tell you that. The instructors would tell you. Do not get caught sleeping at your desk, on your chair, nodding off. Don't be like, don't get caught like that. If They, they would tell you. They would rather have you up alert standing than knock down on the fucking chair and knock the fuck out and it's going to be better for the classroom because one person falls asleep one person get in trouble yeah everybody gonna get in trouble so let me show you the books let me show you the books let me get into this come on, come on. all right so there's gonna be a little thicky binder we got over here and like i said every week every day is going to be a different lesson you're going to be given paperwork. You're going to be given packets and packets of a bunch of different shit every single day. What we got over here? We got homicide, sexual assaults. We got juvenile law. We have uh, Terry Stops. Learned a lot about that. Health. 2C. You guys want to get all this? Everything. Remember I told you guys talk to you guys about the notes you guys want to have to write down your notes in the classroom but please make sure either you your, your handwriting is immaculate you're gonna to have to type out your notes and then you're gonna to have to put them in your binder and you're gonna to have to organize your binder you're gonna to have to highlight shit you're gonna to have to get tabs you're gonna to have to get this shit organized because at the end towards the end of the academy you're gonna hand your binder in to the instructor and you're going to get graded for it. Over here, we got the Title 39 book, Motor Vehicle and Traffic Laws. This book, not as sticky as the binder. It still got some thickness to it, though. So we're going to open it up. You're going to have to study this shit. Not, not every single law and everything, but they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you what to put a note at, where to, what to highlight. You know, you just got to be on top of your shit. But make sure, you know, we got restricted license laws. We got... Penalties for license. I don't know what that said. I don't remember handwriting all fucked up. But make sure you write good notes. Make sure you highlight stuff. Make sure you put tabs on your stuff. Because again, when you have the Title 39 test, when you take the use of force test, when you take the 2C test, which is boom, 2C book. Same size as Title 39, maybe a little bigger. Sticky, thicky, thicky. So we're going to open it up. All the shit. This is all, every single law you could have in New Jersey. Every single law you could have in New Jersey, you're going to have to study this shit. Not study it, but again, they'll give you, they'll tell you what you need to study, and you just got to be on top of it. So you got to be on top of your books, your academics, your note-taking, everything like that. You got to be on top, because when you take those three tests, it is open book. For me, it was open book. For Camden, it was open book. Again, depends on where you at, the academy. It was open book. But it's a lot of material. It's a lot of, like, so it's hard. It's not easy. You can have the greatest notes, but you still have to pay attention. You still got to put the work in. You still got to study. You still got to know your shit. The book has everything. 
Driving course time. On to the driving course, driving aspect of the police academy. Uh, they call it EVOC. It's like emergency vehicle operation control. I don't fuck. <laughs> I don't even know. It's some shit like that. It's called EVOC. I'm on, you guys got to Google it. EVOC. But the same way that the gun range was pretty boring and the first couple of days it was slow and it's not like no fast and furious type shit it's not no you're going to be doing a hundred over the over the, the corner and you're not going to be doing that shit like you're not going to be doing that shit the fastest you'll go maybe is 35 miles per hour that's probably going to be the fastest you go it was boring though I mean, it was cool. Like for the for the most part, you get to kind of like get away and drive a car. You know, like, so what? They hype. They definitely. They definitely hype it up for the most part. So the first, like the first day or two, um, we're not driving. No driving. You're, we're in the classroom. The driving instructors. They will come to the classroom, talk to us the same way the firearms instructor came to us. And remember, we got fucked up for what happened at the range. I don't know, a couple of weeks prior to, so we were on our best behavior. Everybody was like, yo, we're not going to get in trouble, whether we're at the range or whether we're at the driving course. We're not going to get in trouble. We good. So we're in the classroom, and the first day is, like, just teaching us, just, like, trying to explain to us what the courses are going to be like and what they expect and how they're going to train us when we're driving and things like that. Um, the next day, we're still, like, in the classroom, but this time... We have the cars that we brought from our departments. Whatever department you're from, you're going to have to bring... Well, they're going to give you a car to bring to the to the driving course. Um, so, you know, Atlantic City, we had a bunch of bullshit chargers. And, I you know, one dude had, like, a brand new Explorer, blah, blah, blah. So, it really depends on your department and whatever they feel like giving you. So, we got some bullshit chargers. And... You know, we had to go outside and like the instructors, they're like fake teaching us how to like check the oil and check shit under the hood and like just things around the car. And I'm going to tell you like this, but not one time when I was working on the police force, whether I was on the boardwalk, whether I was driving a car, whether I was in the passenger side of a car, whether I was... I've never seen a police officer pop the hood under a car, check the oil, check the motherfucker. <laughs> I've never in my life seen that shit. So that's what we did. The third day, and again, it was like it was the same same length as the um, the shooting range. The shooting range was like Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, and it was the same. So like Monday Tuesday was the classroom board stuff. Wednesday. We may have, I think we went to the driving course. Now, so the whole time that I'm in the academy, I'm driving an hour every single morning. Waking up at 4.30, 4.45, getting to the academy at 6, starting PT by 6.45 every single day. So for that week, it was nice to be able to just drive 10 minutes to the driving course. That That's where it was at. It was in Atlantic City. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the um, Atlantic City Surf Stadium, the old Atlantic City Airport. It's a big empty space over there, so that's where all the departments in the area. That's where that's where they go. That's where they do their evoc training, and that's where we went. Rather than waking up at four thirty, I got to wake up at eight fifteen, eight o'clock, get there by nine, have a breakfast. So it was nice for that week. It was nice. So we get there, we get to the surf stadium. Everybody from different departments. We know we got our cars lined up. You got this. You got the Explorers. You got the Chargers. You got the Crown Vicks. You got a oh, bunch of bullshit there. We're doing our check, checking the hood, checking the engine, yada yada, all that bullshit. We go to the instructor. We're telling him, hey, the car is running fine. Everything we checked it. We're cool. And the instructor, you know, they start they start demonstrating the driving course. They'll go get in the car and they'll show you what the course is like, and they'll they'll have somebody. Go and we would split up. We would get a partner, a driver and a passenger, and we would go to one course, and then we would go to another course, and we would go to another course, and we would go to another course. Um, the way, the same way that I told you guys, as far as like in the gun range video, my last video, I'm not gonna be a hundred percent accurate because I just really my memory with that type of shit is is very foggy. Like it's just been a long time. It's a lot of backwoods since. 
So I just, I don't remember exactly what the course, the what the multiple courses was like and things like that, but I'm gonna I'm break it down that way a little bit. You guys can understand it. Like there was one course where you're in the car, obviously, a bunch of cones are around you. You gotta stay in the cones. That's the whole point of the course. It's not to hit a cone, to stay in the course. So you would drive, you would accelerate. And then you may, you, you gotta make a sharp right turn, keep going straight. When you get to the end, you see the cones line up and you gotta make a sharp turn, make a complete 180 without hitting the cones in the inside. And it's gonna be a sharp turn. You know, you gotta like angle your car a certain way, then whoop, and whip it, and then you gotta come back down. Same thing on another side, boom. Second one, it's like a serpentine. They got cones spread out, maybe like 20, 25 yards apart in a straight line. You're in your car and you're just, just like that, right in between the cones. Point, like the, the trick to that, just staying in, staying close to the, to, to the cones. You want to stay close to the cones. You don't want to get too close because you don't want to hit no cones because then you will fail. There's another course where they have cones set up and it was like a... They were, it, it was somewhat like a T, like a cross, right? So you'll drive in and you'll make a left, like you're making a left-hand turn. You'll get there, you'll put the car in park. Somewhat like you're doing, like, like a driver's test. You put the car in park and then you got to reverse, but then you got to reverse how they want you. You got to put your, look back, put your hand over the shoulder and you got to reverse out and then go back in the opposite direction and look back a certain way. And then that's what, it, that's what it's going to be like. The main qualifying test for the driving is they put every single, so you, you, like I just said, you have three or four different little mini, mini courses that you gotta, you gotta pass. And then the qualification is they combine everything. They combine what you learn here. They combine this, that, and that, and then you gotta put it all together and you gotta beat it in a certain amount of time. I, and I, I really, I don't remember the time. I don't remember what the fastest time was. My boy from Atlantic City got, he got, he won the, he won the award. He won the award for that shit. But it's simple, bro. I'm not, it's simple. If you know how to drive, you'll be okay. I, I, I even, I don't even want to say if you know how to drive. Cause there was people that was fucking cones up. Like nonstop. Like it was just kind of like, bro, how, how are you still knocking? How are you even? Like, I think, I, I think for some people, the instructors were just like, man, like, come on, man, let's get the fuck, go. They pass. They, they, they hit in the cones 27 times already. And then, you know, and, and there's another thing where you got to qualify in the daytime and then you got to qualify at night. So it's going to be the same course, the same, everything's going to be the same. It's just the time of day. And at night. You get to have the sirens on, you get to have the lights on and the sounds and shit like that. And so it's kind of, it's kind of cool, but there's another course, another drill where <clears throat> you're in your car. There's going to be an instructor standing maybe 40, 50 feet away from you in a straight line directly in front of you. You're going to floor it and drive right in his direction. He's going to be standing there with like a flag or he's going to put his hands up and if he says he'll wait till you get to like 15 10 feet away and then he'll tell you he'll put his arm up or wave a flag or do whatever you gotta you gotta make that turn but as soon as he you gotta make sure you gotta and not without hitting him without hitting any cones so you know they made a big thing about it they they, they were saying no, you, we were going to beat the shit out of the cars, and that was the time to kind of like, man, are you really not going to be doing that? Like, it's fun to get in the car, but you're not going to go faster than 35. You may get lucky, hit 40, but for us, it was like, it's real, everything's real fast. It's real, like, acceleration, uh, sharp turn, break, okay, stop. Now, everything is real, but it's a good experience, good time. And um, you guys got to pass it. You guys got to pass it to qualify and to, to graduate from the academy. Now, I don't know. I don't think I'm missing anything else. And if I am, if you guys got any other questions as far as the academy, anything else that I, I may have missed or something you talk, you went through, shit, let me know. Drop a comment. But I think I'm going to end that one on this. There really ain't nothing else to say, man. 
There ain't nothing else to talk about. I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate the love. Good luck to everybody. Not only if you not only if you going to the police academy. Just everybody. Everybody in life. If you showing me love, if you showing me support, I give it right back. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Peace.